Handball Championships are taking place uh, for the first time in a City West Arena and in Dublin. We have planned a huge event in terms of uh, the number of countries coming, the number of players coming, 2,000 players from 33 countries. And this event will be staged in a purpose-built 21-court arena in Dublin from the 11th to the 21st of October. I'm going from a fourth consecutive title, so it's an exciting time. Um, it's going to be huge. There's over 2,000 competitors. Um, and it's being held in the City West Arena, which can hold spectators up to 5,000, I think it is. So it's really exciting. It's exciting to, to be back home and to, to retain the title. Um, I first won my first title when it was, when it was in Ireland. So it's, it's, it's great to bring it back again. Well, I started when I went to St. Patrick's College, Cavan. When my brothers played and I started to play and uh, my friends were playing and it's really start progress from there. We started to enter Ulster competitions and colleges competitions, the same as most, uh, even nowadays, the same as most uh, underage players. There's grades that cater for everyone. Ultimately, handball is based on age grade rather than weight than boxing, for instance. And we have players that will be competing in a world 11 and under singles and doubles championships. So we're going to have 10-year-old kids that train literally five and six days a week for these world championships from, again, countries all over the world. If you take that right the way up, step it right up to master's grade, which is over 40, where Duxie Walsh is going for three consecutive world master's titles. Uh, the effervescent Duxie Walsh seems to continue to do this, and right up to over 80 grade. So you have 12 countries competing for a world over 80 singles championship. And that's, that's what our sport has to offer, and that's what we like to publicize. Win, uh, if I could win the Masters, it means that we have to win in the last three singles and three doubles, which would be unique. Um, so it'll be tough to win it because there's tough competition in it, but I'm after training very hard for it and I feel, I, I feel good at the moment. My main opposition will certainly come from the United States and, uh, you know, traditionally they were the superpower, you know, for a hundred years there and thankfully the last decade that, that has changed where Ireland now has become the superpower, if you like. So many strong competitors even from our, our own home ground. I mean, I definitely say the Irish are are superior on that front in the women's. Um, I know there is a few Canadians and Americans coming over, but um, as I say, everybody's tough uh, at this stage and at this level. Anybody that's entering, it's, it's, it's hard competition, so just be taking it one game at a time.